Hi everyone, welcome back to Graceful Beauty. My name is Sherry and today I thought I would share something a little bit different and fun with you guys. So if you are looking to add a lot of hydration to your skin, if you are looking to get rid of those fine lines and wrinkles or to at least plump them up and make your skin just look juicy and full and super glowy and soft, and if you don't wanna spend a fortune to achieve those results, then stick around because this might be something that you wanna try also. Before we get started, if you like today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel but you would like to be, look down below and make sure you tap on that subscribe button or at the very end of the video, my face will pop up at the very bottom and you can click on my face and subscribe that way as well. So most of you that watch my channel, you already know that I absolutely love using sheet masks in my skincare routine to add hydration, to plump up my skin. It gives my skin a beautiful glow. It helps to minimize the look of my fine lines and my wrinkles. But after a while, it gets pretty expensive if you're wanting to use a sheet mask, you know, three to four times a week in your skincare routine. I've been getting these on auto delivery every single month and I absolutely love, love, love these sheet masks. But I was browsing on Amazon one day and some different items popped up and I thought, oh my gosh, I could save so much money. I'm going to show you how I have been saving a ton of money making my own masks at home using ingredients that I already have in my stash of skincare products. Sorry if it's a little bright. I'm not using um, like studio lighting because I'm at our other house and I'm actually just sitting on the floor on a bunch of pillows in front of a window. So I hope the lighting is okay. But I'll pop it up on the screen if it's, if it's too bright when I go back and edit. But this is a pack of 100 of these. Now let me show you what these are. This is the actual paper portion where your serums are gonna go. They come individually wrapped in these little packets and you're probably looking at it like, what, that looks like a Tums. Uh, antacid or something. I'm gonna demonstrate how to use this whole thing. But this mask, once it gets wet, it will turn into this. This is one that I've already used, but I saved it to show you. It will turn in, and this is really durable. I mean, it's, it's not gonna rip easily. But I just thought that was so neat that these would turn into this. So I thought, this is nice, this nice cotton material. Once I put my serums and things on it and put it on my face, then I thought, well wait, but then the serums are gonna pretty much just absorb into the air. I knew I wanted something to go over top to keep all of those ingredients wet in my skin so that they have time to absorb into my skin versus evaporating. So they recommended that you use this over top of this mask here. And what this is, is this is just a silicone mask, but I love that it's got these little ear loop things. You could just pop them right over top of your ears if you wanted, but I have kind of a big head. So what I like to do is instead of putting them around my ears, I'll just put the mask on over top of the cotton mask and then I'll just take a safety pin and instead of putting it over my ears I just safety pin this little part right here and then I pin it right up into my hair and it stays put so, so now you're probably thinking well what am I gonna put on it surely you're not just gonna put this plain cotton on don't go buy a bunch of extra things check your skincare stash first and see if you have some of these products that might work. So products that I like to use to make my own mask, I might use a hydrating toner. This is one of my favorites by Paula's Choice. I would say my newest holy grail product that I discovered about a year ago is this Essence by Neogen. This is my second or my third bottle. So I'm not necessarily gonna do full reviews of each of these products. I'm just giving you some ideas of things that you could use that you might already have in your stash of skincare at home. I've talked about it a few times in my videos, but you can see it's just a really beautiful watery essence. And it, oops, and that's what it looks like. It just looks like water coming out. So instead of putting it on my hand and then pressing it on my skin like I normally do, I like to use this and make my own mask. And the great thing is, and again, I'm gonna show you this demo here in a little bit. The great thing is, is you don't need a ton of product to make this thing turn into a beautiful face mask. But if you love essences, if you love hydrating products, if you are trying to get rid of that like retin-A, flaky, peely, irritated skin, this is like such an amazing product. This is perfect for sensitive skin. This is one product that is so hydrating when you put this on your face, your skin will just plump up. Your fine lines and wrinkles are not gonna be as noticeable. Your skin will look plump and juicy and very youthful with this essence because you're adding that hydration, that water that your skin needs. Another one I might use, this is one by Kos RX. This is their Galactomyces 95 Tone Balancing Essence. And this is more of like a viscous essence. It's a little bit thicker 
than the last one. But this is just something I happen to have in my stash of skincare, so I enjoy making the masks using this as well. Another product I like to use when I'm making these masks is I'll just put a few drops of this Paula's Choice 10%. This is her uh, niacinamide booster. So you see it's just a nice watery texture. And if you want, if you're just wanting to add the water but you don't really want all those other ingredients, you could just use some of this Aven Thermal Spring Water. So I just like to mix everything and kind of be my own little chemist, but use whatever you have. So if you have an essence or if you have a hydrating toner, if you have something in your skincare stash that's like a watery or even a little more viscous, but it's a hydrating type serum, you can customize this to whatever your skin is needing. So all I do is I just take like a little glass bowl from the kitchen and then I'm gonna open up this packet here and this is what it looks like. And listen, it's so it's a compacted, hard little mask in here. Then what I do is I put whatever essences or hydrating toners or serums in it. So let's just put some of our Neogen essence in here and it just swells up. It's, it's really cool. So I'll either just use one hydrating product or I'll mix a few different ones until it puffs up. When I start seeing the liquid seeping out the side of it, then I know I've put enough hydrating products on it and it's ready to be used. After I have all these ingredients on it, I open it up and then I gently place this on my face and then I take this silicone mask and I put that over top so I can seal in all that goodness. And like I said, I'll pin the sides with a little bobby pin or if you don't have a big head like I do, you can just slap the these little babies over your ears and then since it stays put you can go do whatever around the house I'll wash dishes I'll clean the floors I mean you can do just about anything with this on but the best way to wear it and my favorite way is to do nothing and to just lay down and relax for about 20 minutes and then remove it all and then just pat in any excess that's on your skin and now you have beautiful plump glowing skin now what step of your skincare routine would you do this in you're just going to put it on after you cleanse your face but before any uh, moisturizers or creams another thing i like to do when i have this on my face i like to use my ice roller and i've done a whole video on how awesome this is this little piece right here it just pops right off and this is the part that you keep in the freezer and then when you're ready to use it you just pop it right back on and what I like to do is run this over the mask in upward strokes and it kind of acts as like a lymphatic massage, but since it's so cold, it's gonna help with any inflammation and just get things moving in your skin. This is perfect to use in your morning routine, especially if you wake up and you have like big puffy eyes or your face is just puffy, you know, from maybe having too much salt or alcohol the night before. If you do this whole combination, you're gonna look like you just came from having a facial. So this is just something kind of fun for you guys to make at home, especially if you're trying to save some money on skincare and not buy a ton of those expensive sheet masks. Just use what you have at home, make your own little mask, and you know, yeah, you might have to buy a few things up front, but over time, it's gonna save you a lot of money. So if you're gonna try this, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you do try it, what concoction that you make. You know, do you have something just in your skincare stash that you haven't been using. I would love to know what ingredients you guys add into your mask. I hope you guys liked today's fun little video. If you liked today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, but you would like to be, don't forget to look down below and tap on that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.